Good morning. Today I'll be installing some uh, tank protectors on my Ninja 400. So we ordered them and they came in really quick. And uh, it also came with uh, a cool little keychain. And a fancy ninja wristband. <laughs> but this is this is what I'll be installing on my bike today. This is a. Uh, it's like a that goes on your tank to it's it's like a puffy it's like a puffy sticker and it goes on your tank to help protect it from if you rub on it if you your jacket or anything hits it and might scratch it up and so a lot of times people put these on their bikes just to protect to keep the tank from being scratched up that's what I'll be doing today I need to look and decide exactly where I want each of these pieces to go being uh, let me show you a close-up of what the tank looks like so as you can see there's these raised areas it goes raised here and then kind of an arch here and another raised area and then down here so it looks like this should go down here this bottom piece and then this should fit right in between these two and I believe I'll put these on the outside like right on the the edge like that so the first thing that we'll do is get the tank good and clean I got a, uh, a washcloth here that I put soapy water on one side and <laughs> make sure I get the right side so there's some um, dish soap on this side and that will remove any wax or anything that I put on this bike previous so that the sticker will stay on so I'm gonna clean it up real good with the soapy water and then I'll use this other side to get any soap residue off. And then we'll just dry it. With a clean new one. Now that it's good and clean and dry, we will decide where to put the stickers. So what I have here is a little piece of painter's tape that I put a little mark on. And this will mark my center point on the bottom of the tank. And so what I'm using is this microfiber rag because I noticed that it is exactly from this painted stripe, I mean from this stripe on the tank right here from the end of it to the stripe over here is exactly the width of the short end of this towel. So if I just fold the towel in half then I can find my center point on the tank. So I'll mark it from directly there to here. Hold it right there and I will put this little sticker that I made right here on this line. Now we'll measure from this side just to make sure that it's straight. So make sure that's directly on the tip of that. And yep, see it lines up exactly perfect. So we know right where this little black mark is, is the center of the tank.
So now I'm going to put on this bottom one first and we will put it right under this. And because there is a notch right here in the center, we'll be able to match it up really easily. I'm going to get right behind it so I can see exactly where I need to go. If I'm on the side, uh, it may be an illusion. So I want it right here. And I'm looking here, but I'm also looking down here to make sure that's lined up straight with the seat. Now, press it down. And there we go. We have our first piece on. So we can remove this because now we have a new center line. It's this notch here. So we'll work from there for our next piece. I think it looks good right about there. Should we have it down lower? Well, we're looking at these and the stripe here. I'm also looking at the tank. We want to match it up evenly there. So what I'm going to do just to be safe, I know it's going to be lower than this, so I'm just going to move this down a little bit. No, it's not even, but what I'm going to do from the center here, pull it straight down across the tank. can even open that to see the keyhole. Match it up exactly even there. because the rig is not a precise measuring instrument. So see how it moves back and forth. So we're just going to work our way up to make sure that we get it right. So I'll hold it here and I'll move it again. Make sure it's straight and now hold it here. And this should be our center line right here. And now we'll figure out we can, we're not going to make a center line on this piece, but we can pretty much see it here. And we will line it up with this. We want it down lower where we think it looks good. I think that looks good right there, and that looks good right there. So we will hold that, and I will get hmm. that looks good. And that looks good. Uh, so now, how can we... How can we put this on straight? 
because as soon as we lift it up, we, it's going to move. So let's use these tank lines. Now look on this side. Now look on this side. We see exactly where it goes. It's the lower part of the indention matches right up with there. So see this lower part of this indention is right where we're going to put it. So we're going to keep our eye on the arrow. Keep our eye on the bottom right there. Right there. Look on the sides. Move our eyes all over just like when you're driving a motorcycle. Up down. We're going to look close up far away. And there we go. Perfect. Yeah, that's looking really good, don't you think? And now we have our two end pieces. And these are pretty much drawn. There's lines here, and we have lines here. So these are going to not be, shouldn't be too difficult to do. We're not going to just go crazy and stick them on because we're excited because we already have this much done. We're going to concentrate. We're going to put them, let me stick it back down here for a minute because I'm going to hold it up here and see. Do we want it close? Do we want it far? I think it looks good. Hmm. Yeah. So, do we want it running down the saw in the in the indention, or do we want it over the indention? Well, you know, indentions. Since this is higher right here that will tend to get scratched. So we should have something to protect that. And because these have these little curls on them, these cutouts, they are made to curve in without any stress. That's why these are here, so that you could bend the sticker without it stretching and peeling up. So we are going to stick it where this will be protecting this edge. So I'll line it up the way I want it. Make sure it looks good all the way down. <laughs> I was thinking about putting it one way and then decided against it. <sighs> Whew, that was stressful. <laughs> because see how it goes like that? but I wanted this to line up. I was thinking I should bring it down, but then it didn't look good down here. So that looks good. So now we got to make the other side go exactly like that. If that's what you like, you know, put it on the way you think it looks good. But the way I think it looks good is like that because of this stop. See, this curve is higher than this. This is shallow and this is this is more pointy. So now other side. See how we have that up? We want to make sure it's just like that. Make those lined up. Same distance. Both sides same distance. See how it gets a little bit bigger down here but not too much. <laughs> and there we go. Now, push it down real good. And we should leave this set. I know it's going to, you know, set forever. They say you should leave it on for 24 hours to uh, before you ride to make sure it's adhered. But, you know, it's going to be on forever. We're not leaving it on for 24 hours and taking it off. So it's, um, 
So, you know, just don't ride in the rain or extreme heat or anything like that until this glue has a time to set. some up here as well. Protect me from hitting the tank like I'm just now doing. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> so you see, you can just slap it on and hope it's right or not even worry about it. Looks like what it looks like because it's your bike and you can do whatever you want to it. But uh, I think that in the long run, making it as straight as possible and as perfect as possible will give you peace of mind as you're riding and in the future. I don't think you're really going to be looking at your tank protector when you're driving, but you know, if you take it to a show or you're hanging out with your friends, you want your bike to look good. I think it turned out pretty good. I like the way it looks and adds a, another layer of style to this already amazing motorcycle. So I got this tank protector. It said manufactured by Rev R E V S O Revso Star Revso Star made in China. So if you want to get one just like mine, it did come with this cool wristband and a keychain as well. So that's a plus. <laughs> and um, and so if it starts peeling or or falling apart or something, I'll let you know how, how that goes to make sure this is a, a quality product or not. Um, it looks, it feels good, it looks good, and we'll see what the future holds. But for now, I like it, I'm happy with it, and it was very easy to install. <laughs> so thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. You all are very important. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.